you need the support of God, the blessing of God to develop the American economy. So if I'm not mistaken, the American national debt is 31.46 trillion right now. So at the moment, you think yes. is God is blessing America or is he a little bit thinking about America? <laughs> that is a great question. And no, I do not think uh, that his blessing is on us whatsoever. Uh, I think he is merciful to us uh, for not consuming us because of the atrocities and the evils that we have perpetrated against our own citizens and against countries and citizens of other nations. I think it is, uh, the, the, we have been a very corrupt nation. Uh, we talk a great game. We talk nobility and honor and but much of our administrative state, uh, we sometimes refer to it as our deep state uh, in America, around the world has been very anti-American in how we conduct ourselves. And, and so, no, I do not think his blessing is upon us. I think his mercy is having mercy on us. But, uh, you know, one of the ways that we want to fix the economy, to your point, I expect to be walking in as president to a $35 trillion deficit. I fully expect that uh, over the next year and a half. And so I have to focus on how do I pay off $35 trillion? And the truth of the matter is, there's there's not going to be all payoffs. Uh, we're not just pay, paying off all of the debt and walking away. A lot of it, we should not have incurred to begin with. A lot of it, we have been duped and it was alliances that we really formed. We might have only owed two trillion, but we would go in debt for five trillion so that some other things could be done, some other funny business. So uh, it, look, we owe one trillion to China. Uh, we owe uh, our largest debtor, 12 plus trillion is, is to Japan. Uh, and you know, several of those uh, neat numbers need to be dramatically reworked. Uh, and then we will settle uh, like you do any debt uh, or, or most debts. But uh, I, I can tell you that my methods for doing that will be twofold. Number one, uh, we will freeze, and I can do this as the president, uh, as an, through executive order, freeze the uh, rehiring of all non-critical government positions. Uh, just by freezing the rehires of non-critical positions will reduce the federal government, the size of the federal government by 20% during my first term alone. Uh, I don't have to, I don't need Congress to cut spending. I don't need Congress to change uh, and, and get, you know, 400 people to vote a specific way. Uh, we are able to do that in the executive branch and government will run better. It will run leaner, more efficient. And uh, so I think that that's the first major element. The second major element, and this is the same thing you do personally. If you're trying to get ahead financially, personally, you have to cut expenses and increase your income. Those are the those are the two things you want to do. And the more you can do of both, uh, the better. And so uh, the, on the income generation side, we must become not only energy independent, which is kind of the popular buzzwords now, but energy dominant. We have more oil in the United States than all of the Middle East, than all of Russia, and several other countries combined. So why in the world would we ever buy one barrel of oil from anywhere else unless we can get it cheaper than we can manufacture it and drill it ourselves? But I can tell you that's not the case. We can have $1 per gallon gasoline. That's uh, it, not a stretch uh, to do that, which grows dr GDP dramatically. We got to get out of the 1%, 1.1% growth and, and get more into that three and a, three and a half, four, four and a half percent uh, growth rate uh, on our GDP. But when you focus on, on real energy dominance, then you must develop nuclear energy which nuclear energy is what we use for our, our largest projects. We fill up our submarines one time in the life of, of the vessel, one time. And yet our, my vehicle, we have to keep going and filling it up with fuel every day, every few days. That's, that's nonsense. That's silly. It's because we're using, uh, uh, it's because of the, the systems that are in place, uh, profit systems and companies and corporations uh, that kind of keep want that profit to keep coming in they're not interested in what's best for you in your life. They're interested in their 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 greed and their profit.